Дамы и господа, мы продолжаем наш вечер на телеканале М1 Global. И вашему вниманию третий бой вечера. Гран-при весовой категории до 61 килограмма. В синий угол октагона приглашается Николай Кнышев. Появляется боец из Беларуси Алексей Костарев. the history of my 35 years as a professional broadcaster for the first time ever a microphone has been fired we have just jettisoned a microphone frank shamrock you've received an upgrade how to well that's not an upgrade like that brother you gotta talk like that дамы и господа oh в красном углу октагона трехкратный серебряный призер Республики Беларусь по вольной борьбе. Победитель Кубка Москвы по крэплингу. Призер международных турниров по вольной борьбе. Клуб Арахион Могилев. Первый профессиональный бой. 21 год. Николай Кнышев. Его оппонент в синем углу октагона. Чемпион Республики Беларусь по рукопашному бою. Чемпион Республики Беларусь по панкратиону. Бронзовый призер чемпионата мира по боевому самбо. Победитель профессионального турнира М1 Глобал Черный Квадрат. Клуб Феникс Минск. 19 лет. Алексей Костарев. This is as meta as it gets when it comes to broadcasting. The Sofa Spuds bringing you more action from the road to NFG3 Minsk, Belarus. Minsk is the capital of Belarus. About 10 million people in the country. One-fifth of its population is in Minsk. Referee Vaktagonia Vadim Kutsi. Let's go Внимательно слушаем мои команды, правила не нарушаем. Покажите честный, красивый бой. Пожали руки. По углам. All right, in the red we have Nikolai Kneshev. He's 21 years old in his debut, and he's taking on Alexei Kostarev in the blue gloves. Люди готовы. Grand Prix yes. Bantamweight yes. Tournament. Three five-minute rounds. No elbows. No soccer kicks to the head, no knees to the head of a grounded opponent, and we are underway. And again on Clash TV, please make your voices heard in terms of how you interact with us during this fight. And you've talked about in the past, Frank, uh, taking the viewing experience of combat sports to the next level. Technology now making it more than feasible as we have Kineshev looking for the takedown and secures it on Kostarev. But, uh, 
What, in, what intrigues you most about something like Clash TV? Красная активнее. Вот, хорошо. Вышел, вышел. Голову, голову на себя. Закрывай замочек. Yeah. Oh, and uh, here's where Kineshev needs some submission defense as Kostarev looking for potential triangle choke, but it's Kineshev being very busy from the guard driving in the right hands to Kostarev, and now wide base hammer fist as Kineshev trying to escape this armbar from the bottom attempt at ground and pound by. Kineshev. Nikolai Kineshev letting Kostarev know that uh, a submission is going to be very hard to secure in this opening round. 19-year-old Kostarev, 21-year-old Kineshev, again the future of fighting, both of them beginning their roads. And for Kostarev, he's tasted victory already, but here, with an opportunity to win a contract to appear on a numbered NFG event, taking your career to the next level. These two representing again the crop of talent that is in Belarus, in this event emanating from Minsk. Referee orders a stand-up midway through the opening round. And it's Kineshev again, shoots from long distance and Kostarev able to... Oh, what a takedown! And uh, you know a thing or two about slam takedowns. Uh, Igor Zinoviev, uh, ring a bell? You rung his bell, that's for sure, poor guy. You ended his career. The only time I've ever successfully predicted anything in my life, back with El Wapo Boss Rudin, Pride Fighting Championships, Quinton Rampage Jackson, Ricardo Arona, and Ricardo Arona had him in triangle position. Jackson picks him up, power bombs him. Remember, and his head bounced up back off his head. That was the incredible slam. A minute 15 here as Kineshev and Kostarev battle on the ground. Round and pound. Kostarev, a bronze medalist in the Combat Sambo World Championship. Sambo, of course. Also utilized by none other than the man Habib Nurmagomedov from Dagestan, of course, who utilized Sambo very, very well in his launch to superstardom, but here we have Kostarev looking for the triangle and the wide base by Kineshev. 21 seconds remaining in the round. What does uh, Kostarev have to do to make sure he gets the joke? Strong start for Alexei Kostarev, despite being slammed to the ground and Kineshev having difficulty even walking back to his side of the cage. Kostarev back up to his feet, so we are set for round number two as we continue to try to uh, fix whatever technical difficulties you may be having. I know uh, my broadcast partner, 
trying to morph into MacGyver and try to fashion some sort of a microphone setup that will allow his dulcet tones to join us on Clash TV. Well, I, I, uh, I'm just trying to do my part here on a Saturday morning. What else am I going to be doing? Like, seriously, this is my ultimate dream come true to be able to call fights literally from my sofa, literally in my sweats. This is the future, and I'm all for it. All right, uh, we've got Koneshev and Kostarev about to do battle in the second stanza. Kostarev in the blue tape. Koneshev in the red. Koneshev switches to southpaw stance. Kostarev trying to navigate a path and finds it. Oh, almost a back body drop there by Koneshev, but Kostarev maintains his grip, looking for that. Dars. Oh, but escape by Koneshev. And Koneshev now in the closed guard of Alexei Kostarev. Kostarev, the 19-year-old. Koneshev, 21. Both of them again beginning in the earliest stages, the embryonic stages of their professional mixed martial arts career. Sofa spuds broadcasting from six feet apart, although Frank Shamrock might as well be... I've been saying it all day. That's the name of our team. Thank you for listening, by the way. Thanks for being like every other broadcast partner I've ever had. Nobody listens to me. <laughs> and by the way, I, I'm, I'm joking. All right, Clash TV, I'm joking. I've worked with the legends of broadcasting and Frank Shamrock. 327 left in the second round. All right, no laughing matter here for Kostarev and Koneshev. A lot of energy and focus here on the ground. And I know uh, my broadcast partner, all kidding aside, is trying to fix his technical issues. Are you able to try to fix their technical issues inside the cage, Frank? Or are you kind of, are you, are you moral tasking right now? All right. All right. We can share this. We can really start. We eight. Oh, no, we can't actually. Don't even go there. Six feet. Damn it. All right. Well, every. I mean, people have been starving for entertainment, uh, and, and yet it has to be done by taking all precautions. And who knows? I mean, I, I sit here, you know, calling fights right now on Clash TV. I wonder, you know, what is the whole world supposed to be shut down? We need we need to help first. And, and man, Koneshev needs help here from the ground and pound of Kostarev. And I'm stand still, still. And now the reversal, now the reversal and, and it's Kostarev looking for the arm bar. The arm bar immediately, Koneshev reverses into the open guard of Kostarev. If anyone on Clash TV understands Belarusian, please uh, translate for us. A minute 24 left, and there could be Russian as well spoken there. By the way, just, there is a difference. You learn something every day, Mola Ranallo. And speaking of learning something every day, Russian fighting, well, created its own form called Sambo. We've talked about it already. It translates to self-defense without weapons. Developed in the 1920s and incorporates catch wrestling, judo, jiu-jitsu, Turkish and Georgian wrestling. And it, uh, of course, Fedor Emelianenko, a, the, the greatest Russian mixed martial artist and really one of the greatest MMA fighters, period was a, well, mental level combat time. But look at Kon 
Kineshev stepping in and Kineshev dropping Kostarev again. So Kineshev looking for the slam takedown points, but now needs to maximize it as he's been neutralized by Kostarev. Under 30 seconds left in the second round of this bantamweight bout in the Grand Prix tournament. Again, the winner getting a chance to fight on the numbered MPG events. This is MPG three, second round action. 15 seconds remain. Hammerfist from the bottom. And again, Kostarev, despite being on the bottom, has been the more active, still looking for the triangle joke, fishing for submissions and, and Clash TV. What do you think? How do you score that? Are you looking at Koneshev in the top position? Or are you noticing what Kostarev is doing from the bottom? Want to hear from you on Clash TV as we head to the third and final round. Got anything for me over there? I think I'm back. I hope I'm back. Um, I don't I see. Go. Oh, yeah, there you go. I see the green light. <laughs> On a computer screen? Yeah. Wow. Cambridge, Ontario, Canada, where, by the way, um, it's just trying to, I mean, this is what I do for a living, both of us, what we do for a living, period. So uh, definitely feeling blessed that I, I get to call fights, but at the same time, making sure that everyone understands this is unprecedented times and, and pleased by whatever it takes to just stay safe and we will get through this to the other side but uh, for right now hopefully a chance for those of you on Clash TV to just escape with us and and allow these uh, these individuals here to showcase their their skills very much still in the earliest stages of their growth but an opportunity again in the in getting a chance here to do it on the on a much bigger stage than a lot of uh, many 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 fighters do on their professional debuts and you, yeah, you look to the ultimate fighter, uh, Strike Force Challengers, Bushido Series. There's so many developmentally uh, skewed systems and you need that you need feeder systems you need the opportunity to have the pipeline and the supply chain continue in that in that sense and so uh here we are watching bantamweight action in the grand prix tournament oh hearing from a friend i'm just going to let them know that i am calling oh wait a minute i hear my voice over there can you turn yeah yeah i gotta turn the phone i'm calling uh fights i'm gonna let them know on Clash TV. I uh, hope all is well. All right. 90 seconds plus have elapsed here and Kostarev on the bottom, but Kineshev a little more active from the close guard, looking to create separation, dropping the ground and pound. Right hand lands and Koneshev having to try to pass the guard here. Oh, and they're looking for the... And, and yet, that's why you don't see it a lot, because look what happened. Immediately, Kostarev able to turn the tables on Koneshev. So high risk, no reward there. So Kostarev taking advantage of Koneshev's risky attempt and kudos to Koneshev. And what do you think on Clash TV about what Koneshev did there? Going for the ankle lock and putting himself in harm's way and now giving up position. Are you a fan of a, a risk like that or, or not? <laughs> 
Oh, nice reversal. Sweet reversal by Kineshev, now almost in north-south position. <laughs> Depending where they are, I guess it could be northeast, northwest, south position. <laughs> and you do get a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. Well, I'm looking for a gift from Kit Kat. That's why I'm singing the jingle. A minute 22. <laughs> a minute 15 left here. And again, much like we have seen, it's Kineshev. Top position, but Kostarev very active from the bottom. Kostarev looking for the submission. And wow, and you, you hear the sound of victory from Alexei Kostarev. He was tenacious and finally forcing Nikolai Kineshev to tap. And it's Kostarev picking up the victory, advancing in the Bantamweight Grand Prix Tournament road to NFG3. Дамы и господа, за 4 минуты 15 секунд в третьем раунде удушающим приемом победу одержал боец красного угла Алексей Костарев! Alexei Kostarev. Oh. Alexei Kostarev picking up the victory. Well, at least we're not the only ones having some technical difficulties, my friend. But wow, look at this!